Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Mahoka Koko Noreto Se, season 2 episode number 13. And this is the final episode of this season. Okay, uh, the previous episode uh, we started I think kind of a mini arc uh, where uh, there were like there was like this terrorist kind of attack in the tower where um, Tase is situated, uh, Minami is situated, uh, Yami and Ryoru are like outside uh, with the security and obviously Miyuki is there and a lot of people there so, and so yeah the um, attack is probably going to fail like very badly so I'm just like looking like who will like go and like stop the attack properly because I doubt Tatsu will take an active perform like active part in this because obviously uh, Minami is here and her like main job is to like uh, make everything like keep everything fine uh, for the security of the people uh, there as well and i think because we have not seen minamin's power powers properly before we kind of saw a little bit of a glimpse of his her power but since we have not seen it properly i'm guessing this episode will like showcase his her abilities so that is the reason why i don't think tatsu will kind of take an active participation in this episode but probably we'll get to see like her power here because in the previous episode we got to see uh, Yami and Yoru's power and in this episode probably we'll get to see Minamin's uh, power so that, that's just something that I think let's see what actually happens so yeah guys um, without further ado let's get started with Mao Kako Kono Reto Se season 2 episode number 30 all right I'll be putting in the subtitles and the timer here thank you to whichever is your preference and let's get started Okay, here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <clears throat> Excuse me. One floor below. Okay, panic is like spreading now. That's bad. That high amount. Okay. All right. He's staying here. Oh. I've already prepared some. Oh, oh, okay. Well, yeah, he like <laughs> needs nothing. All right. Okay. So maybe he will take part in this as well. Like. I was thinking maybe uh, he will kind of remain as a spectator in this like case because Mina means there. All right, so this is the end of this season. Um, I'm not sure if they have any plan to make another season because uh, other animes, I kind of like get the feeling, uh, for example, uh, the other uh, like mainstream animes like uh, Dr. Stone, uh, Neverland, and what else, like Slime, all of this, I think they probably will like uh, renew the seasons after one after the other. But Mahoka, I'm a bit um, like not sure because the first season was so far back and it like made a second season after so many years. So I'm not sure if they really have any plan to continue this. Because as far as I know the light novel and the manga is pretty like far ahead. So like there, there's no like lack of source material. Like that's not the problem. So like I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Protect this building, all right. Hmm. Oh, they're teaming up. Oh. Oh, what? What's he doing? Scanning her? What was that? Like, I've never seen Tarsia like scan anyone like this, did he? All right. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's even better. <laughs> All right, there is your emergency outlet. <laughs> oh, he even mended it. Good job, Tatsi. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's the flying device. Okay. Well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> All right. That's one way of getting out of a uh, like hijacked building. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Ooh. Pipes. Okay. Half Manchester. Uh Oh, okay. All right. That's a Uh <clears throat> oh. Yeah, they are like pretty doing it in a pretty like uh, non what can I say like non lethal way. Oh, earthquake! Like, like they are like uh, like as I said, I doubt they want to kill people. They just want them to. Oh my god! Earthquake! Wow! Oh my god! Oh. Okay. Oh my. Oh uh, yeah. Like. One eightieth and one eighty first. Oh my. God. 
thousand me uh, okay yeah obviously mm, okay yeah negotiating okay well these stairs i think are more reasonable let's see what they have to say like we saw them not like killing people like as usual terrorist does and they even gave them an hour of time to like evacuate so okay <laughs> <laughs> this guy understood that if this guy can like block bullets like this he will be a problem so let's just take him to our leader ah. okay We'll deal with it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. That hit a... Oh my god, well, it's... Uh, you don't need to worry about that, because... Um... <laughs> what are you smoking? <laughs> <laughs> well, there it goes. Nope. You're messing with the wrong people. Oh, what was that? What? What are they? Okay, it's nullifying the magic, but that's here, here, so no need to worry. And there it goes. It's over. It's over. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are like. Ah. Oh. Oh, are these like the terrorists, the people who are like involved with them? Oh no, oh my god. Was this some kind of a device that would like automatically activate if... Resonance destruction. Yeah. Multiple type of magic and Oh, okay. So that's how they were able to. Okay. They had another trump card or whatever. Oh. Oh yeah, um, okay. Uh. Okay, alright. Sensor interference? Uh -huh. Oh. 
Okay. Maybe he himself did not have the power to like destroy the pillar, so he used someone else to who had that power to like do it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like if the building goes down, the elevator is like the least you should worry about. Okay. Um Okay, there it is, the cracks. And it's Good as new. Is there anywhere else that is? Oh, there. Yep, that also works. Oh! Okay, they went into one eightieth floor. Oh, oh boy, oh boy. Oh no, this, like... Uh, oh my god, it's, the damage is too much. Will they be able to, like... Yeah. Yeah, it's also, like, crumbling, that is the reason why. Yeah, like it, like you have to do it, ev like every one of them. Yeah, yeah, like you have to do it all at the same time. Otherwise, oh yeah, oh boy. And it cracked again. Oh no. Okay, this is a bigger problem than I initially thought it would be. Hmm. Okay. And seal okay, all right. There it is. <laughs> oh boy, the inf like inflow of information. Yeah, he's All the like organic formulas and everything. Information of materials. Yeah, he, he has to like scan each and everything. Like what the material is made out of. And. And there it is, the full town. Regrowth. Oh boy. Like, <laughs> this is something else. Like, oh my god. Wow. Like, looking at this, you should probably get an idea of the amount of power Tatsuya has. Like,
this is impossible something that i doubt anyone would be able to do like properly like how many t- stories was this like i think above 200 or something yeah Okay. Most of our main residents. Hmm. Background. Okay. Yeah, he I think he was barely in the state to ask her anything. Okay. Yep. Hmm. That thing. What? All right. Entrance ceremony. Okay. Oh, that's the yeah, end. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, Saigusa. Oh, she's graduated, didn't she? Oh. What? Oh, these are like sisters? New characters? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. Well. Oh, wait, what? Who? Who is this? New character? Oh, Saigus, uh, Minami. Okay, sh- yeah, she... Okay, let's see what this is. Mm, invitation or something? Like, she said she was going to invite them in season one, so... What? Oh, okay. Uh, No, it's not an invitation. (laughs) 
All right. Okay, so that's the end. Any information about another season? Nope. All right. So, okay, this was the final episode of season two. And I'm not sure if or whether they will do a season three. I uh, really hope they do so, but uh, like, like season one was so far behind. Like uh, season one was, I think, two, three, two or th not uh, three or four years ago. It happened. I'm not sure. I might be uh, like making like a wrong statement here, but it was quite a long while ago, and season two recently like just ended. So I'm a bit, I don't know. Um, not sure whether they will. Like they have any other plan of doing a, another season or not but um like uh in one in season one there was like kind of a discussion not a discussion but an episode where this kind of said that um like aunt maya said that she would invite tatsuya and um miyuki to their place and i was really looking forward to that because i wanted to see how they interacted like face to face tatsuya and her uh, his aunt because uh that is something that i'm really curious about because i'm still not sure what is the actual like i don't know what is the actual um how like uh, how i can't explain it like how they interact with each other like what is their stand in front of each other like as far as we have seen like tatsuya uh like talking with uh, her his aunt it was uh, like through the terminal or whatever like to a, a video call or stuff like that we never saw him like in front of her directly talking with her and i'm really uh, like i was really curious about what like her aunt's actual take was on tatsuya because the other family members uh, there are like varied opinions because obviously a few people do not like tatsuya and a few people uh, respected him because of his power and everything for example uh, like uh, Kuroba and uh, mm, her brother and um, they like respected Tatsuya but at the same time the butler from season one he did not respect Tatsuya at all and his dad I'm still not sure about what his dad like what does his dad think about Tatsuya I'm still not sure about that because it, it seemed as if he was kind of like on a neutral ground who knows and uh, so I really wanted to know what like Aunt Maya actually thought about like Tatsuya because she seemed uh, like a pretty intelligent person so yeah so that was the reason why I was pretty like curious and I like I wanted to see what happened but in this season also like we barely got to see like uh, like them interact and I'm still not sure about the whole um, I don't know like what they like actually think about each other what is like like uh, the thing is like what aunt maya actually thinks about tatsuya would reflect on his actual standing in like the family because uh, aunt maya is like the like, top isn't she yeah she's like the top the head of the whole family so whether she like respects tatsuya or likes tatsuya or does not like tatsuya dislike tatsuya that would really like um make like make the his standing apparent like what his actual standing is in the family i was like trying to gauge that through like mom aunt maya's interaction with him but i was unable to like really understand what she actually thought about him even in this season so i'm guessing if there is another season we'll probably get to see them interact more and i'll be able to like understand what he is actually uh like what his standing is in actually like in the family and yeah, because uh, in, in his family, obviously a lot of people did not like him, but that really does, does not show us that what he's actually standing is in the family. So, yeah, like, I, that's the reason why I was, like, a little curious about it. Mm. But one thing obviously we got is, like, uh, Maya kind of thinks highly of Tatsuya's uh, powers. Like, that is apparent. Uh, so, yeah, that one thing is uh, quite apparent. But usually these type of characters like uh, characters like Aunt Maya are usually, um, I don't know, like usually are correct, like does the correct thing, like uh, people like her, like in animes we've already seen. So 
yeah i doubt she will like I, I'm, i'm sure like she has also a kind of a respect for tasya just like that she also kind of respects her because that's a, we saw her him saying that the aunt maya is like the strongest so in that way uh she has respect uh, like he has respect for aunt maya and yeah anyways um okay so this episode um obviously <laughs> like it ended just as i thought like and the terrorists were obviously unable to do anything but they kind of like did one thing which was pretty um i don't know uh, pretty like clever of them because they like made it as if like they themselves were not strong they were like almost five or a few of them but they kind of made a plan behind that and they made it made sure that their actual plan that is the demolition of the whole tower uh, comes into like fulfills even if they are incapacitated uh, incapacitated or um or they are unable to do anything that's what happened like that's where like miyuki froze them but still like at the last moment he kind of like did that remote magic activation or whatever and uh, activated that uh, power which like which power was like in one of the um people who were like uh, unconscious in the 34th floor i think or not 35th floor um uh, like he he activated the power remotely and that in turn kind of like destroyed the whole building the pillars and everything and the whole building kind of like was trying to like crumbling down so i'm guessing uh, the reason why he himself was did not activate the power directly I think maybe he did not have the power himself to like crumble the whole building. So maybe he like uh chose a person like that had that power to cause that kind of destruction and that is the reason why like he remotely controlled that person or uh, who was unconscious to like activated the spell or like that thing and it in turn like crumbled the pillars and the whole building start uh, the whole tower started crumbling down and i th- i just think it is something like that so because like uh, why else would he like remotely control someone else who would like uh, cast a spell because he could have directly done that so the reason why he did not do that is maybe because he himself did not have the power like he had to rely on someone else to do it so yeah and i also another thing like um i i'm still not sure about the reason why like in the 35th floor uh like the people were unconscious and assassia said that a few people from his own team were also like uh, mixed in them who were also either unconscious or pretending to be unconscious so uh i'm guessing like he activated uh, like we saw that girl whose power he actually activated remotely so i'm guessing she was a part of his team and who was like unconscious in 35th floor but the uh but uh the r- reason i really do not understand is why was she like in the 35th floor unconscious like that like what was the like significance of that plan of like mixing a few people underground Uh, alongside the other like normal people maybe uh because they wanted to uh i think maybe they, they did something like that because they were like concerned about the thing that if they themselves were somehow unable to do anything for example they were like frozen and a few of them were like unconscious and everything uh, like uh, tasya and muki knock them out so maybe they did that so that they do not also like they also are not uh, involved in with them so like if they like uh, i cannot explain it properly uh, the thing that i'm trying to say is like um a few people were in the 35th floor because they were like an emergency kind of um like if something happened to them i'm i'm thinking like maybe they like the, the way he did it like he remotely activated that power that was the reason why he left the people in the 35th floor a few of them backups so that if something happened to them he can remotely activate it and the plan will come into like fruition so anyways i'm just guessing all of this maybe that was not the reason maybe there was something else who knows and yeah but yeah as expected uh nothing happened major happened no one was injured 
and that's where I did a pretty um uh, I don't know big thing which was like <laughs> completely gr like <laughs> completely mending a huge tower like obviously this guy is someone who can who cannot die who can like like reform his own body reform anyone's body and we've seen him done so a lot of time so uh, him doing something like this is really not surprising <laughs> like yeah who knows maybe like 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 yeah like really thinking about it like minami said one thing that this is like this amount of power really something that a single person should have like this literally makes him god like kind of like that so and i think uh, another like reason why he having this power does not stray like usually people who have this kind of power kind of unless and until he is extremely determined kind of like strays off the good path and like uh, become kind of drunk on their power but i'm like that's why will never be like that because obviously his emotions are kind of uh, i don't know suppressed so and his like only emotion is like his uh, adoration for miyuki as he said so like i think uh, that is also the reason why he is extremely humble he is extremely uh uh i don't know, like simple he's a really simple kind of guy so yeah and um because if someone really had that amount of power i'm really not sure uh like as me like minami said that a single person should not really have this amount of power like that is something extremely like scary for others and that person is also like someone who is like vulnerable to fall into the like uh like fall into the like clutches of that power like he will get drunk on that power and like i don't know do evil stuff <laughs> so yeah but anyways this is that so i doubt something like that will happen to him so yeah and and in the end we also saw aunt maya for a little bit uh, she uh, made the preparations of minami to mm, like get into the school and also we saw saigusa's two sisters who are probably going to attend the school from now on and we're probably going to see them if another season comes out <laughs> and i really hope it comes out because this is quite an interesting show and it is a l lot unique than other shows because it gets into the technical things and each and everything like it is like the amount of details this show has is quite uh, astounding like it really is because usually uh, animals and any kind of shows usually do not get into the like technical or uh, nitty gritty uh, kind of things they usually like say like yeah this is the power and that's it like we don't even know the like mechanics or what how the power comes out but in this show like each and every power i think they have an explanation for how they do it uh, obviously i think the anime like does not uh, like the animes also like showed a lot of technical things but i think because uh, like this is i think this is a, this is a light novel so i think the amount of like technical things in that will be a lot like more than the anime is able to show because obviously the anime has like uh like restricted schedule and like 13 episodes for one season or 24 episodes for one season like that so obviously they are unable to like cover each and everything a light novel has or a manga has so yeah but still it like in season one did a pretty good job of like introducing us to these new things and a uh, few explanations as well because as far as i can remember in the first season when like uh hanzo and tasu had a fight and it also explained the like uh like workings of the spell that he used pretty like uh easily like it made us understand and a few others as well so yeah that is one thing that re this show really does well and i'm really like happy that it does that it like um, gives more depth to the show because we kind of understand how this is happening uh, it makes us like more engaged in the show yeah that was this episode and new school year so if there's another season we'll probably get to see more of Tatsu and Miyuki so yeah um looking forward if they do it if they really does another uh, like season 
which I really don't know if they will do because season one was so far be like behind. So yeah. Anyways, so yeah, guys, uh, this was uh, the final episode of Mahoka. Uh, this was, I think, a mini kind of arc. So yeah, uh, this arc ended, and Minami joined the like team or whatever. So yeah. Anyways, guys, so this was uh, the final episode, episode number thirteen of Mahoka Koko no Retose, season two. I had an amazing time uh, reacting to this show and thank you guys for watching and people who are like who's still here sticking with my reactions uh, thanks a lot and uh, thanks to the comments as well because uh, like a lot of comments kind of explained a lot of things to me and I really appreciate it because um, a lot of things usually the anime are unable to explain it but it kind of makes us confused because if we do not read the light novel or the manga so it really helped to understand a few things to clear up a few things so thanks for that as well and uh, yeah thank you for watching guys so this was the final episode uh, if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to share i'll be sure to check them out so so yeah guys um i'll be back next week uh, with i think one of the newer animes which are going to air so i'll like uh, post a video where i will like uh, explain which animes i'm going to do next so look forward to that as well so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching so i'll see you guys next uh, in the next video so until then goodbye and have a nice day